Hello, my name is David Muir and I'm a Foundation Year 2 Medical Doctor at the University Hospital of Wales, Cardiff and I'm here to present a piece of research looking into the longer term reflections and outcomes of medicine and pharmacy participants following an undergraduate interprofessional education event at Cardiff University. Interprofessional Education, or IPE, has received extensive attention as a potential solution in encouraging collaborative practice. The Centre for the Advancement of Interprofessional Education defines IPE as an event where two or more professions learn with, from and about each other in order to improve collaboration and quality of care. A recent systematic review using the Kirkpatrick evaluation model stated that IPE is well received from students, providing a focus on the knowledge and skills required to enable collaborative working. Although there is international support from WHO for the widespread implementation of undergraduate IPE, there is still limited systematic evidence of its effectiveness. IPE at Cardiff University was initiated in 2011-2012 academic year and it's evolved ever since. This piece of research looked at a therapeutics and prescribing workshop between third year medical and fourth year pharmacy students where three case-based activities happened during two hour workshop which was facilitated by both pharmacists and medic colleagues. Students worked in interprofessional trios where each student was playing a professional, patient or feedback providing role. The objectives of the study were to explore the experiences and reflections of the students following the IPE session, to evaluate IPE using the Kirkpatrick model, and to capture any suggested recommendations for the implementation, development or evaluation of IPE. We did this by conducting one-to-one -one semi-structured interviews one to two years following the event with both medical and pharmacy students. Interviews were conducted either face-to-face, -face, telephone or Skype, audio taped and transcribed. Inductive thematic analysis was conducted using the Vaughan and Clark model and outlining uh, any themes that had occurred. The deductive analysis was, used, uh, was conducted using the Kirkpatrick model. 34 interviews were conducted, 20 were medical students, 14 were pharmacy graduates. The majority of medical students were in their fifth and final year. In terms of the pharmacy participants, eight were during their pre-registration year and six were qualified working in community, hospital and industry. Inductive analysis found six themes. Number one was the preparedness for the session, where medical students felt that they weren't prepared for the session as they not really used the BNF before. The second theme that looked at the role of the student learners and teachers. Medical students felt that the pharmacy students were there to teach them how to use the BNF. Pharmacy students felt the same way that they were there to teach the medical students how to use the BNF. The third theme looked at the development of knowledge and skills. Medical students felt that their um, use of the BNF had become more proficient. And pharmacy students interestingly said that they felt more confident to discuss and to talk with medical students. The fourth theme looked at the application of these skills and knowledge. Medical students felt that they had uh, increased knowledge to look at the BNF during clinical placements, whereas, medical uh, whereas pharmacy students had actually taken this a step further in their professional practice now that they're qualified or in pre-registration year where they are now uh, feeling more confident to discuss cases with both doctors and other healthcare professionals. The fifth theme was looking at the usefulness of the session where both individuals felt that the medics probably gained more from the session as they came in with limited knowledge about the BNF. And finally, the final theme looked at suggestions for change, which we'll discuss later. In terms of deductive analysis, the Kirkpatrick model, which has been described by Barr, was implemented. Level one looked at reaction, which was how the uh, individuals felt during the session. Level two A looked at how their attitudes and perceptions of the uh, opposite interprofessional group had changed. Level two B looked at any acquisition of interprofessional skills or knowledge. Level three looked at behavioural change. So the implementation of these skills and knowledge within their professional practice. So that it was, this was more geared towards pharmacy graduates as medical students were still in their undergraduate studies. 
Level 4A looked at changes within an organisational practice as a result of this session, so changes within the NHS. And Level 4B looked at benefits to patient outcomes, which would be very difficult to um, calculate. So Level 1, Reaction, both medical students and pharmacy graduates enjoyed the learning experience. And par uh, participants particularly enjoyed interacting with allied healthcare professionals. Medical students recognised that pharmacy students were knowledgeable about prescribing and therapeutics, whereas pharmacy students acknowledged that medical students actually approached these cases very differently, looking more into their history and examination and investigation of these patients, whereas the medical, whereas the pharmacy students had more of a drug history focus about it. Medical students gained an understanding of the role of pharmacists and valued their expertise within the healthcare professional team. Pharmacy students gained more, uh, felt more confident to approach these medical colleagues, believing that the session actually removed any future barriers to new communication. With regards to behavioural change, pharmacy graduates um, had illustrated that they'd actually implemented this learning into their professional practice and felt more confident and comfortable in communicating to the wider healthcare professional team. Medical students, as I said earlier, were still undergraduates, were, so were unable to um, demonstrate any uh, application within pro uh, professional practice. In terms of, of changes within organisational practice and benefits to patient, neither medical students or pharmacy participants uh, provided any evidence of of these uh, levels. However, they both acknowledged that regular IPE from an early stage may help understand healthcare professional roles, develop and improve relationships, improve integration, which may play an important role in, in improving patient safety and outcomes. So the recommendations for implementing, developing and evaluating IPE we identified that an early and consistent delivery of IP is very important. So from throughout their undergraduate um, education, it's important to develop these relationships from an early stage rather than within an ad hoc way. Sessions should really complement and align curriculums between two healthcare courses. Relevant and specific learning objectives to each course should be identified. The use of multidisciplinary team members during these sessions is very important. Pharmacy students frequently talked about how they interacted with the medic colleagues um, during the session and really valued their um, expertise because probably the third year medical students were unable to provide the answers due to their lack of experience. The use of interactive learning was highlighted that using case-based discussions within a smaller uh, environment allowed for more interaction and as we highlighted earlier using a narrow knowledge gap between students really help so in this case the the gap between the knowledge of the bnf was probably too big uh, in order to learn with from and about each other which is the whole at the heart of ipe so in conclusion this study has demonstrated that both medical and pharmacy students were able to recall the IPC session, which happened up to two years earlier. Students from both professions emphasised the value being placed on interacting with their interprofessional colleagues. And participants reported positive feedback related to interprofessional work and gained insight and into existing knowledge levels at that level um, during their course and the roles that they play as professionals. Um, they self-reported that it improved skills and appropriate communication and teamwork. And for those pharmacy uh, colleagues who are now in employment stated that they were able to implement what they had learnt and had more confidence in approaching and communicating with members of the interdisciplinary team. Thank you very much for listening.